amount of ads between these games as we're we're ready to fire off on all cylinders. Oops. Nope. 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 Uh, zero shift one. Nope. 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 Come on. Shift one. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I struggle around the board here, I want to give a quick shout out before we get into this match to someone on Twitter, Andrew Velzen at Avelzen on Twitter. Thank you very much for the follow, sir. Very much appreciated. Very much supported. At any rate, Sabani here in game number two in this best of three for the round of 64 in the DreamHack Open Qualifiers. It is going to be Liquid's Rets. And his opponent in the upper left playing for Liquid as well. No solids, no gases. Nerd jokes in. It's going to be Liquid Snoots. And that last CVZ went, uh... I don't know. I talked about how it wouldn't be the slugfest that Mutaverse Muta was, but really that's what we ended up seeing. And a big part of this was just because Snoot was able to snowball over his opponent. Rhett, I feel if he's if he's going to go for that same sort of composition, the place you could definitely pull ahead is if you could cause some early game damage. But speaking of early game damage, ladies and gentlemen, Snoot is going for a 10 pool with gas. So perhaps looking to knock his teammate out really quick here. This uh, he could be playing into the weakness of Rhett's. If he knows his opponent typically plays a hatch first or uh, anything on a, on a map like Belshire, this could be blindly trying to counter him. But Rhett going to go pool first. 14, not 15. So these links will be out just barely in time to hold this off. And Snoot, this isn't going to be for speed. This is going to be for a bailing all in. Uh, this is going to be a little bit rough for Rhett to deal with. If this was like Star Station or Derelict, by the way, if you guys don't know, you can actually sneak links past the Overlords without them being seen. But sadly, on a map like Belshire, Snoot will be outed right away, and there's that Bailing Nest coming down. Uh, perhaps pulls off gas a little bit too soon. Doesn't have the gas for the Banelings. Snoot, I know you only need to make like two or three, but you still need gas, my friend. See if he, uh, there we go. Recognizes what he needs to do. But Ling's coming across the field. Rhett gonna take a moment of just going, Gah. Gosh darn it, because he doesn't know whether it's Banelings or not. As far as he's concerned, this is a tan bull, but I mean, most of the time players will pair this with Banelings because that all-in is so strong, so hard to hold off. If you guys don't know, uh, this is something that, oh, please tell me I've got the right screen on. I do, okay, sorry. Panic mode. Um, this is something that actually works really well. You could be like a diamond player against a Grandmaster, and you've still got a pretty good chance of actually making this work. That's how volatile this Baneling all-in early on can be. But Red's already got Lings on the field. He's got drones coming as well. And you might be thinking, like, this isn't a large amount, but it's just barely enough to outclass Snoot. So Snoot actually can't engage right now, and he knows this. And, of course, he would love to start morphing in a couple of Has to back up in order to do so. Has to keep them alive and safe. Probably going to have about three or four on the field. Four right now. Okay, there we go. But Rhett's going to see this, and Rhett's not going to be happy to see this, because he his spine crawl. Well, actually, he's got a spine crawl coming down already. Sorry, my mistake. I thought he didn't have one coming down at all. But first bailing. Ooh, almost popping on the wrong Ling. Snoot's got to be so careful with his control here. APMs are going to skyrocket as both these players try to maneuver past one another. First bailing does get sniped off for nothing. A little sad to see that happen. Second one also for nothing. Queen popping off that third one. Fourth one has to connect. If, if this bailing does nothing. Okay, gets a couple of the links. They're pretty nice. Gonna try and uh, probably take out the natural rather than go for the main scene. The spine color down. Gonna be very difficult for Snoot to run past this. Yeah, knocking down the hatchery. Uh, for the time being, is what he's kind of forced to do. Not gonna be going for drones behind this, of course, is Rhett. He's getting 16 lings he's about to pop, but Snoot trying to drone behind this, recognizing he could be in for a bit of trouble. One Baneling has got to make the best connection in the world, ladies and gentlemen, but it will just barely miss. Queen will go down again, so Snoot. Not for not, he's getting some pretty good damage out of this, but he's down a whole hatchery, he's got no queens on the field. He may GG. Uh, he may be brazen enough to try and play out of this, but the realistic thing is that uh, Rhett's kind of got this in the bag as long as he doesn't throw it away. Uh, of course, a good, a good Bailey hit or two could change the sway of the game, make no mistake, guys, but for the most part, at this stage of the game, this is Rhett's game to lose. A couple of banelings. Will they pop in time? Looks like they will, and they do get one good connect off. But the second instead of links, still outnumbers Snoot is the problem. So the second banling has to connect, and if it can't connect, he can't continue. And Snoot getting his own queen out now. He's gonna keep investing into the I mean, drones, but oh, the banling doesn't get as many as many as I think he really wanted to. Red up an entire base. May have lost his queens, sure, but he kept that hatchery alive. Although that may be temporarily. Or temporary, even. As these links try and run by. Nope, nope, never mind. Gonna take a poke from the spine crawler and back off. Okay, so Snoot is gonna try and play out of this, guys. It's gonna be really rough for him. It's 15 drones to 26. 
any point in the game when you've got pretty much double your opponent's workers. Oh, I forgot to do first blood. I'm so sorry. My uh, my apology especially goes out to Diablo Melandro in chat, who I know loves first blood more than anyone else in the world. But Snoot, he's not gonna break this. He's got a second. So Red's got a second spine crawler coming down. He's got two queens on the ramp. Even if Snoot pairs this with uh, speed, it's gonna be really difficult. But the one thing that's really nice about this is, even though this already looks very grim for Snoot, there's there's gonna be a game three, guys, and that's all that really matters to me, because <laughs> I love casting both of these players. Such nice guys and such great Zerg. But yeah, he can try and do what he wants. Maybe if he had double the lane count, that's something that could be a potential option. But what he's gonna have to do is, if he wants to make banlings, he has to sacrifice some of his Zerglings, and if he sacrifices his Zerglings, his army count's gonna be really, really in the gutter. But I guess if if he can catch Rat droning, if or sorry not droning, uh, making units instead of droning, Snoop might have an opportunity to catch up. Spine crawlers, queens, and these evolution chambers will make a full wall off though. So Snoot has now lost the option to baneling busts. Just kind of looks worse and worse for him as time goes on here, but making more lings. Gonna not show these actually. This is a really smart choice. Not showing that he's continuing the ling all in. Rhett will just assume Snoot's trying to macro out of this. He'll assume. Drones are coming down. Well, that's what that's what did happen for a little bit, but for the most part, the second ling all in, like I can't with the bane lings even like he can crash into the evolution chambers with the advantage of three queens. Is you can spam transfuse that evolution chamber. I've seen Ragnarok do that firsthand in Zotac and make it work so well in his favor. Rat's gonna match Snoot ling for ling in a moment here. These bane lings are gonna be was wasted trying to get this wall down, and ugh, I just I. I'm cheering for Snoot. I want him to win this with a crazy bust or something because it would be like the miracle that, you know, the <laughs> the second Christmas or something. I don't even know what to relate this to, but it's going to be so difficult, so very difficult to break this. Banley's, of course, going in first. Trying to go up on the evolution chamber that is building, but it's not enough. Snoot going to try and chip it down. Oh, it just barely breaks it. Tries to run on past Rhett, though, with his legs coming out just in the nick of time. Will block that ramp, and with the ramp, uh, with the ramp being blocked by Rhett, it's... Yeah, Snoot just can't take that fight. Last couple lanes gonna be sniped off here. Queens, of course, will finish that off. Oh my god, was there a hole here this whole time? Oh my god, how... Mm, Snoot! If he had known there was a hole there, he probably would have never wasted the bailings on the bust! Oh no! Oh no! That is so heartbreaking. I don't know if he saw that there was a hole there. But that was not a complete wall, guys. That was not a complete wall, which makes this even worse. Link's now getting to the natural base of Snoot. And Rhett is looking to take this to Game 3. Snoot's got some links coming out here. Rhett's morphing a couple banlings, though, right in the mineral line. These links have to be so careful. Drones will get popped on as well, and Rhett is going to connect. Ooh, nice banling connect. Another one will go off. Perhaps a little bit unnecessary for the time being, but just throwing everything away because he can. Three bases coming up, a third coming from Rhett while this is going on, and you guys wanted Ling Bailing Aggression. You got it. This has been action-packed despite how much of an all-in slow pace this started. But, oh my goodness, I can't believe that that was a hole the whole time. No pun intended, and that Snoot didn't know. Oh my god. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks, but Rhett is perhaps going to have to cancel this hatchery. But look what's coming up behind us. He's got upgrades on the way. He's got spine cars. He's got these queens still standing. Snoot can run past this. He can surround the queens. He could pick off these queens even. But I don't think that Rhett would be any worse for wear. But Bailing. Oh, going to chase the Lings out. Second Bailing going to try and connect. Lings. Actually, maybe Snoot can. Maybe he can get the damage he needs done. But no, he runs into the Bailing. And so many of those Lings just pop instantly. Good game is thrown down. And ladies and gentlemen, this will go to game three. Again, we're just going to keep.